ओम नमो गुरुदेव नमो ओम नमो गुरुदेव नमो ओम नमो गुरुदेव नमो आद गुरन नम जुगात गुरन नम सात गुरन नम सिर गुरुदेव नम आद गुरन नम जुगात गुरन नम सात गुरन नम सिर गुरुदेव नम आद गुरन नम जुगात गुरन नम सात गुरन नम सिर गुरुदेव नम एंड इन एल वेरी 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 डी and exhale and relax so sat down um as i said we will go uh, to the brain and we we try to understand how it works and then how the happiness is connected with what's happen in the brain and especially with the hormones we will understand i trust that uh, whatever happen in our life every emotion feelings uh, you, we want to eat or we want not to eat uh, we have desire we have not have desire everything depends from the hormones to the hormones so today the the topic is very specific connected with happiness so i i am show to you something to just to enter because it's like uh, um, learn another language like if now today we start to learn uh, japanese you know the, the language of the brain that is in effect the language of our body so we have to met first the brain so i did a uh, did the presentation so we can stay in the same track <coughs> i will share my screen now with you okay i think i think you are you see my screen good happy hormones tray your happiness this is the title here we go uh -huh. okay there are people coming okay the concept is we can choose if you want to be happy or not because happiness is a state of mind we have a romantic idea about what is happiness uh, it come from uh, other person what we do um, if we feel love for example or not but in the reality is based in what's going on in the <coughs> mind in the brain and we can choose if we want to be happy so there is the brain, as I say, the, the main character of this movie today, but there are also four hormones that take a place in this story today. This is your brain, sorry, our brain. This is our brain. And this is new probably for, for you that we have three brains, one in, inside of the other one. We have the new brain the rational brain the cortex this part up where there are the toes the idea etc then we have the middle brain that probably you know as a kundalini yoga uh, practitioner teachers etc and we call it the limbic system where the emotions enter and take place and a role in our uh, movie and then we have another brain very very inside very very old the reptilian brain where the instinct are based and 
or stop to share. I want to share to you where is the, this brain as the measure of our brain, more or less, no? Like mine. So we open the brain and we said, Alf and Alf. We are speaking about the cortex, so this big part. That is the part of the brain that distinguishes us from other animals because it's very, very big. We have a lot of thoughts and things, idea inside. Then we have what we know as the limbic system here with the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland. I showed to you the pituitary gland, maybe you never have seen. Is this one? You see? Pituitary gland is these little things in the middle, is exactly in the middle of the brain. And then we have this old part here, reptile brain. The very, very, very old was the first brain. Reptile, because it was the brain of the reptile. It is nice because we have the same measure of reptile brain of the reptile, but we have the other structure on top. So we can do more things with respect to the, the reptile. So I back to my screen. Uh, so we have this, uh, our brain composed with these three brains. And this is more or less uh, a summary of what the, the three brains do the first the neural cortex as i say thoughts meanings the logic it's where where we think one plus one is two basically association feelings about what the feelings about about what we feel the second the where is the limbic system the middle brain a simple emotion simple it's not really simple it's a very complex but it's what what the body transmit to us and what we feel about the, what is going on. And the third, the, the reptile brain, it's fight or flight. This is the strategy. The strategy of the brain is this reptile brain is survive. And I can survive in three ways. I can survive fighting. I can survive flighting way. Oh, I can survive becoming frozen without doing nothing. And all of us, all of us, we bring inside a specific strategy that was settled when we were very, very young. Also appetite, it's one of the instinctual function that we have inside. Then, so reptile brain is the focus of today because survive is connected with happiness because it's connected in the brain with to success in what we do. And so this means for the reptile brain that we have happiness. So we have seen the brain and then we have to, to see a little bit more in detail the hormones, what they are. They are neurotransmitter. It's like the postman with some information to bring to the body. They transmit information from the control cabin, the brain, to the periphery, the body. The name comes from Greek, ormao, excite, septic in motion, and then motion, motion, emotion, emotion. So it's a movement going by what's happened. So the information is exactly the consequence, uh, the consequence of the information, sorry, is the action. So the four hormones connected with the happiness, dopamine, oxytocin, endorphin, and serotonin. The happy hormones, oxytocin, endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin, the four hormones directly involved in our ability to experience happiness. And why, why connected with our ability? Because you know that what makes you happy, maybe 
it doesn't make me happy. What make happy your partner is something that you really don't like. So happiness is very, very, very specific for us. There are source of happiness, more or less we can, we can share as a really source of happiness, but it's very, very personal because it's connected with that survival strategy inside of our reptile brain. So, I uh, go to show again. I, I do another little part of the introduction, then if you have questions, I'm here, okay? But just to learn the basic language of the happiness in the brain. We say the happy hormones and we go forward. The level of happy hormones that are not all the time there depends how we breathe, the quality of our breath, what do we think, the quality also of our thought, the quality of what we eat and the relationship that we have with the environment. You have to think that for the brain, we are still in the cave. And now with the lockdown that some of us in several countries we are living in this moment or we live in the, in the, in the recently past, it's for the brain coming back to that cave. So it's very, very specific condition we are living now for our brain. And then other important element for maintaining the level of happiness in our body is the physical exercise. So before I enter in the specific hormones, is clear what we are going to, to discover? Good, any question? Perfect. So now we go by hormone by hormone of the four to understand what they do. This is the first one. The oxytocin is called the love hormone. It is developed in our brain by the social recognition, bonding, physical contact, the orgasm. Why the social recognition? Never probably we think about it, that we need that the social environment, the other people recognize us. But for the brain, this was very important because when we were in the cave to be recognized for the community, what means at the time, survive because I am part of the group, Sangat. We discovered in the Kundalini Yoga how important is having a Sangat that accepts us where we don't have to explain who we are, what we do, but just we stay with them. We are recognized. So now we know that this part of the relationship with the Sangat is connected with the oxytocin. It is also produced during the labor and when we breastfeeding and positive impact on the ability to recover from an illness. So it's not only recognition and the physical contact, like really like the eggs and the organs, okay. And so also what is connected with the sexual activity, but also is important to recover when we are not, uh, not good with our health. And oxytocin helps also the testosterone production. This is nice to know, it's important to know that the more we are connected each other, more also the testosterone, that is the hormone that maintain us um, with the strength, is produced. Level of oxytocin decrease if our social life is unsatisfactory. The environment is aggressive. The mind is full of negative thoughts. 
there is no trust. Trust is a very to important topic because if we don't trust, we cannot feel that we are recognized by the other ones. So it's an important uh, part and trust is something that we, we give like a gift to the people, but then the people have to maintain this, uh, this trust alive. So when our environment is aggressive or doesn't maintain this capacity to be trust and trustful, the oxytocin went down, it goes down. And this means that for us become very difficult to be happy because for the brain, there is no, I am happy there and then I'm not happy, I'm happy in another place at the same time. Or we are happy or we are not happy. There is oxyto oxytocin or there isn't, okay? So this is oxytocin, sorry, back to the oxytocin, okay. Uh, second one, endorphins, will hormone, feel good, reduce the pain, less anxiety, regulate the stress mood, block the discomfort, endorphins are fantastic because we don't feel nothing, everything's fine, nothing negative, I mean, everything's fine with the endorphin. But we have to work for a, a for a endorphin in our brain, and they produce this feeling of um, euphoria. Euphoria is a very old terms. Maybe we don't use in our life, daily life. But euphoria is this sense of well, uh, we feel well, we feel uh, content, we feel happy, and this happens when we have an intense physical activity. Because for the endorphin, we have to work with the body after intense sexual activity, rhythmic body movements. For example, when we dance, endorphins bring excitement and create attention dependency because it's so good to the feeling that we have with endorphin because we don't feel pain in, in, in no single level that it's very easy to create dependency and what make uh, difficult uh, the level of endorphin the level decrease for sedentary life boring attitude in front of the life no goals to conquer how important for us to have something to do i want to to do that course i want to cook uh, this dish today i want to reach my goal in the office most of the time we divide what happened in the work and what's happened in our life and and we don't think about i have to do a business planning for our for my personal life i have to set some goals but for the brain to set the goals it's very important because can can establish our, our self-esteem. Ah, I reached that goal, fantastic, but not be the goal that I will go to Mars. It's simple, I will make order my room as I will call my friends, something very little, very specific that then when it's done, we can say, oh, good, well done. And this produce endorphin. You see the combination of, of topic that we have to take care for being happy. Then we score again the, epine the um, endorphins. We go for dopamine, reward hormone. Ah, we reach the goal and then this is fantastic. Sense of satisfaction, happiness mood control, attention, cognitive function, motivation, how is important to do things that we like to do. This is the dopamine land. Do what we really are motivated to do. It is activated when we work towards a result, the pleasure of achieving the intended goal, not something 
we don't know why, something that I, we plan and then we reach the goal. Dopamine likes to have a business planning strategy, an action plan, wants something to do to reach something else. And the level of dopamine decreases when you don't develop yourself, just you stay without think about what I can do for me. I can learn a new language. I can take more class. I can uh, uh, teach uh, something different, you know? You don't cultivate your passion and positive mind is missing. Everything is sad, negative, doesn't work for me, etc. And then we have serotonin, happy hormone, physical contact, good mood, to be here and now, the sense of well-being. This is what is connected with the production of serotonin. It regulates a wide range of behaviors, including sleep, appetite, digestion, memory, anxiety, mood, sexual desire, aggressiveness. Serotonin is really everywhere in our behaviors. A serotonin prevent depression and make really us happy. And when the level of serotonin decreases, if the intestine works badly, also because serotonin is produced in the intestine and not only in the brain, we sleep badly, lack of socialization and sadness. You have seen that uh, to get your dose of happiness, we have really two different levels of action. One is personal, my goal, what I want to do, but also social recognition, physical contact. So to be happy, we have really two levels to take care of. What I do for myself, and what I do in the community. So happiness for the brain, that means for us, it's connected with the two points. Myself, what I do for myself, what I do, I do in the community, not what the community does for me. So in this interaction, we can really establish the base of our happiness. Questions until now? It's, it's clear where we are where we are going now inside of the brain. Good. Um, what we do today in the hour two out the two hours we have uh, that we can share together is also see what we can do with our Kundalini Yoga. What, how we can improve and put in equilibrium how are happy hormones doing what we normally do, our practice, but also in our style of life with what we eat and what we think. So we are going before to practice a little bit more inside of uh, the happiness in the hormonal uh, understanding. Oxytocin. Oxytocin is the hormone related to attachment, to the relationship. There is no real success if there is no one to share it with. It's not called the love hormone at random. So it's good to know that to be happy, we also have to create a network of people to share with. Do you know that one minute of positive personal interrelection triggers an oxytocin explosion? But we know this. We call our friend, we speak a, a very little on the, on the phone, and we feel better. Laugh together, strengthen the bond, also with ourselves. Laugh. We do a little exercise now. 
we have to laugh to have the shower of oxytocin in our brain 90 seconds so take a breath trust in what we are doing and when i tell you go you have to laugh you can open your microphone and we laugh together open your microphone so ready 90 seconds you have really really laugh don't think that you don't want to laugh just laugh three two one <laughs> We have to laugh together. <laughs> exactly. Be courageous. <laughs> yeah. More strong is retard. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> really, open your microphone! Don't lose the position, stay there, ready to receive. Develop your intuition. Relax the shoulder. Don't make more difficult the position. Stay simple there. Breathe, breathe very long, very slowly. Focus at the center of your chin. And inhale, very, very, very deep. And all, all the breath. 
squeeze your muscle, stretch your right arm forward, squeeze all the body, and like a cannon, exhale, other two times, inhale deep, 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 deep. Squeeze, stretch the position, squeeze, all, 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 all. Some second more, squeeze, squeeze, like a cannon. <sighs> Last time, inhale deep, stretch, squeeze, 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 like a cannon. <sighs> and relax good um the indication now say that we have to talk <laughs> so we don't have to meditate we have to move and talk so i'm very happy to receive some comment about you from you How is it going? It's going well. <laughs> yeah. who, who is? I don't see your face. Ah, uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was a bit it's late out of bed, but it was good to do this. And also the laughing to get your cheers. And the talk with my sister before. I said to her, come on, join. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. sharing. Also, this time, we have done for seven minutes, but the indication is 11. But also in seven minutes, you, you can feel the difference. You can feel something. Could you repeat, please, the name of the meditation exactly? Yeah, is to see the unseen. I can make the, I can, uh, uh, all meditation I will uh, suggest uh, you today are in the library of teachings. Okay. The okay. okay, but I share to you the title, so. Thank you. So you can find it. Here it is. See the unseen. And someone is asking in the chat to, to, re, to re view the one of the slides. I will, I will do at the end, I will pass all slides eh? so you can have uh, again an overview. <laughs> Something more you want to share about oxytocin? Okay. But the experience of the meditation was good? Your face is like... Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. Good. <laughs> it was really great. I have a question. Yeah. Um, how often do you have to practice this meditation? If you recognize that uh, this is the hormone for you, uh, mm -hmm. the, su the suggestion is 40 days. Okay. You have to really work on. Hmm? Maybe you can, you can also wait uh, that we share. Uh, I share all four hormones and then with some mm -hmm. behavior connected. And uh, so you can choose which one is really fits with you. Okay, but okay. the indication is in general 40 days uh, yeah. to have really to establish really the difference. Okay, and do you have to stick with a maximum of 11 minutes for it's this 11, meditation? It's just yes. 11 minutes. Okay, or can you shorten it if it's Maybe I to... now, now for the time because uh, yeah, I want yeah, to but, with it. but it's 11. I, yeah, yeah, okay, it's 11, but you can't shorten it to three minutes a day and then build it up uh, up until 11 minutes. Is that possible or you have to stick with the 11 minutes? The, the best is 11 minutes, but better three minutes than nothing. So maybe you yeah. can establish three minutes and then you can improve little bit with five and then seven and then arrive yeah, to 11 yes. and when yeah. you feel comfortable in 11 minutes maybe exactly. then you can start exactly with, yeah uh, okay yes. thank of you course. you are welcome yes. okay guys um, we go for the next one good good
Okay, next one. Endorphin. Endorphins are the hormone of determination. They are the ideal support for our motivation. But it has to be the right one. And if there is not a bit the effort, physical effort especially, it is difficult to have the endorphin on our side. So signs endorphin are also the hormone of strategy. Let's be smart. Find out what you like. Define what you would be willing to do. Relate it to what you really do. Determine the size of the gap between what you say you want to do and what do you actually do. Watch it like a movie and find the main character. For example, who or what is holding you back from filling the gap. Design a strategy to fill that gap. Add a one minute physical effort to each step of the strategy, like push up, jump, stretch pose. Again, laugh. <laughs> and one, two, three, go. And don't give up. Keep up. So, endorphin, very interest hormone. You see how happiness is connected directly to what we plan to do so sometimes we say oh now i do um, 90 days of sadhana 4 and 30 in the morning and then we do two time and then we we can we not simply we not continue the intentions was good but the fact that was the opposite this is create a lot of problem inside of our brain it's a disaster it's better to say has um I don't know how it's your name. I, I can pronounce your name, Audra. As you yes. say. Yes, yes. Audra. It is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Audra. Uh, can I start with three minutes? For the brain, is fantastic. Three minutes. I got it. Wow, good. The second day, three minutes. Yeah. 10 days of three minutes. Yeah. Now it's at five. One day. Fantastic. You know, this escalation of commitment often we take a big commitment and then we can simply we cannot end it because it doesn't fit in our life completely so this have to do with the endorphin and has brutally to do with our capacity to perceive the happiness it's like a sabotage so for having endorphin we have to be a little bit more strategic little things for short time something that we can really handle. And then we can grow up, grow up, grow up in our strategy, in what we plan. Maybe you never connected your capacity to be happy, your uh, occasion to be happy with this kind of technical things. But the brain is very specific. And it's not the brain, the reptile brain, it's not brain with the words. I will do this, I will do that. Because the reptile brain born before the language. The language is connected with the cortex, with another part of the brain. So our base in the happiness, in the capacity to be happy, is based in something that we do, not in something that we say. So really, we have to establish a certain routine of action to support our brain to produce the endorphin. And the endorphin themselves, they will help us to maintain the rhythm. For this is needed that we do something physically. The endorphin is a classic hormone for the people that run the marathon. They are destroyed, but they continue because there is a strong motivation. They train it themselves before, and then when the effort is amazing, strong, the endorphin continues in the brain to push the motivation, the real motivation. So we have also to think about what I'm doing. It's exactly what I want to do. My real deeper motivation, it's really a good motivation to do what I'm doing. So we cannot think that the happiness is something that 
come from outside, as you start to see, is inside of us. And if we are not perceived this kind of strong motivation inside, maybe it's better for having endorphin, it's better to stop, slow down, reflect on, meditate and think on what you are doing. It's really what you want to do. So we will do another, another meditation for the endorphin. If you don't have any questions now, you can write down on your paper something. What cross your mind now? Don't judge, just write down. And then we go with the meditation. And maintain your mind that this word, this word strategy, gap, determination, what I want to do. Okay. And this is the meditation, Pranadi Shabbat Guni Kriya. This meditation is in the fifth stage of 21 stages meditation. Focus. So can support us in focus in what we really want to do. When you have written down, you go in your comfortable position. If you are sit on the floor, you can stay in, in, um, in uh, easy pose. If you sit like me now in the chair, the importance is having the legs really, really 90 degrees with the floor and the feet very pushed on the floor um, with the feet parallel. And the, the spine have to be straight and not lie down on the back on your chair, okay? This is the position of the hand here, okay? One upper the other one. Right? Take care, don't go up with the shoulder, put the shoulder down and just put your hands there. Very relaxed. And what we do is we inhale in six time by the nose, six part, six little part, stroke. Six. And we exhale by the mouth in two, like a whisper. When we inhale, we think Satnam, every single stroke, Satnam, 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 Satnam. And when we exhale by the mouth, is like, why? Guru. So close your eyes, put your hands just at the level of your diaphragm, close your eyes, make you comfortable, are like this, the, the, you see? They are not too touching each other. They are simple, relaxed, eh? close to the other fingers. Close your eyes. Look at the tip of the nose with the, your closed eyes. And we start. Six time by the nose. Satnam, 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 Satnam. Two time by the mouth. Why? Guru. And we continue like this. It's a whisper. Why? Guru. The attention in your breath. Concentrate.
the each pulse of the breath mentally focus through the brown point at the root of the nose. From the point, the tip of the nose, at the root of the nose. And if you are doing well, the eyes, they become automatically remain 9, 10% open. They just a little line. Take care of your body, relax the shoulder, open your chest, stay straight with the spine. And focus. Six equal segment with satnam by the nose and two whispering with the mouth. Why? Guru. Relax your face, relax, focus in your breath. Don't lose the concentration, the focus. We have to learn how we can maintain our mind focus on something.
and inhale very 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 deep suspend the breath contain yourself and feel the energy going to the brown point And exhale by the mouth. Other two times. Inhale very, 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 very deep. Contain, hold the breath. Hold, 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 hold. The energy going to the brown point. And now strongly by the mouth. Last time. Inhale deep. Concentrate, everything is pushing up. The energy is flowing, going to the brown point. And by the mouth, strongly. And relax. Very good. We have done, as usually now, seven minutes, but this meditation asks for 31 minutes it's a very powerful meditation especially if you have a plan you have a plan but you can find a way how you can concentrate in that plan you cannot settle you have difficult to set the priorities for example focus really focus any comment from your side He looks very serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sat down. Yeah. Yeah, Sat down. yeah I, I could feel because you need to concentrate, of, of course, and to focus on your nose and on the breathing and saying satnam. And then uh, I could really understand how, or I think I can understand how the meditation works and the effect of it. Very interesting. So Good. thank you sharing it yeah, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. thank you satnam for being here yeah it's a very very powerful meditation also the fact that is inserted in the 21 stages of meditation means the focus is really a stage when we meditate in the reality when we meditate we have to have a focus but this meditation specifically works in 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 um in uh, um, reach the possibility to be focused in ourselves even if it's simple at one of the stages of when we, we do any meditation, this is specific to conquest this capacity in us. And this is very important for the happy hormones because if we don't focus in what we want to do, it's like we become like a dust everywhere. And we cannot really use how our inner capacity. It's incredible. We think that something connected with us that we need is something that have to come out, no, sorry, come to us from outside. No, no, we have to develop the capacity. We are human beings. We have this capacity in ourselves. Just have to be focused and develop it. Great. You want to share something more? Yeah, uh, I just I just feel some tingling in um, the right side of my head. Uh -huh. um, can you point at uh, the the brain? You had the brain. Which part of the brain was for the endorphins? So but the, the, uh, the yeah yeah during yeah. the meditation, I just felt a tingling um, on the right feeling. Side. Yeah, on the right side of the of the head. Uh, the the right part is connected with the creativity with the capacity to create something from nothing to okay. to move uh, our our thoughts through through something that create really creativity expression of ourself expression of our inner self outside the relationship with our self our capacity imagination it's uh, connected with the idea that i have to focus because before to focus mm -hmm. i need i need an idea i need to focus in what so I think it's a it's a it's a signal that exactly the right part where creativity is mm -hmm. um, 
it's the part that uh, was stimulated to the meditation. My suggestion is try to do really the right time, 31, to really yep. feel this, uh, this uh, okay. how the meditation works. Yeah, I will do that. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. And uh, endorphin, uh, no, we are, um, sorry, we are speaking, see, endorphin, endorphin are produced uh, in the center of the brain because they are produced for the pituitary gland. So it's uh, the fact that we are moving the focus, uh, concentrate in that part of the brain, the frontal brain, uh, um, in the center of the brain, sorry, this is uh, also a source of strong stimulation for the pituitary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, we go forward. So I show again the title of the meditation. And we go for dopamine. Dopamine, is, this is very nice. It's a selective hormone. It is activated only on specific success rewarding prospects. So we also have to become selective, eliminate to illuminate. This is one quote from Shep Charan Singh that was for me very illuminated quote, eliminate to illuminate. This means take out from your life things, from your life, from, from everything around you, in your house, in your cupboard, in your car, in your life, everything is not needed because we need to create space to be selective. So find out what rewards motivate you and connect that reward to a goal. Divide the target into smaller targets. Identify the reward that every little achievement would bring you. Determine, determine how to get it evaluate the effort required to reach it. Plan, have a plan and make this, the plan visible. Hang a sheet of paper on the fridge, write it on the blackboard. It has to be visible and stick to the plan. And one, two, three, go. Why have to be visible? Because as I said, the reptile brain was formed before the language, but was connected with the, first with smell and then with a the view. You have to think about that our brain still thinks that we are in the cave. And when we go outside, like we go to the work or we enter to teach a class or whatever, for that brain, for the reptile brain, it's like going to fight, to survive. So if you write something and they put a paper on the fridge, on the, your mirror, in a place that you can observe and see every day, the brain receives continuous information and you have to do a cruise. Ah, I did this. Good signal, physical signal for the brain. This is very important. So it's uh, nice also to, to know now that beside the motivation, then we have to, to settle how and what is the, the recognition that we want from what we do and what is our specific success rewarding. What you want to eat, celebrate, oops, sorry, celebrate your, uh, your su success. This is a very important part, not all culture, they see in a good way, celebrate. Because some culture, the, some education that we can receive is teach us that the success of what we do was in the plan. So we don't have to celebrate nothing. This is very sad for the brain especially because the brain needs a celebration, needs, I reached the goal, why, why guru, I did. So I can go to the second step for this, the plan have to have to be formed for small small little step that we for sure we reach if we want to put in order the house 
Never probably we do. But if we say, oh, today I put in order that corner of my shelves, just five books. And you for sure you will do. And then you celebrate, good, well done. You don't have to, to do something exaggerated, but transmit to yourself that you are proud of what we did. What you did, oh, it's in order, okay. And for sure, the brain will stimulate you tomorrow to do the second part of the shows. Because was so proud, so the reward arrived, and you have to decide what is your reward. You can watch your TV series. You can read finally three pages of your book that is not a yoga book. It's, a, it's, a, it's an, uh, another crime story that you like it, for example. So you have to settle what is good for you and do it. Not only set what is it, do it, okay? So we do another meditation now for develop a little bit more uh, this capacity. And the meditation we do is the base of your creativity, capacity of life. So write down, if you have in your mind, something that was in your thought, it's in your thought to do, to realize in a creative way, but for one reason to the other one, we don't know, never happened. So focus a little bit in your project. And then we try to stimulate our inner creativity, inner capacity to be creative by the meditation, but focus in what you want to work. Dopamine is produced by the hypothalamus. So we are working now in the center of the brain. I show to you, so recap. We are working in this area of the brain now. Good. In the same position, easy pose if you are sit on the floor or with the spine very straight. If you sit on the chair or on, on the sofa, okay, make you comfortable. This is the mudra. Put your arm and the hand have to be here. And we move very, very, very fast. Close your eyes and breath of fire. <laughs> Pump your navel. Very, very, very strong. Close your eyes. Pump your navel. Fast, 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 as fast as you can. Pump your navel. Fast, 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 fast. Good, don't stop. Fast, fast, fast. Pump your navel. Don't do the breath of fire if you have the period or you are pregnant. Otherwise, do. Don't 
don't stop. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Fast, 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 fast. One minute more. We do strange things for years. This is only one minute more. Moving fast. Yeah. Give to yourself this possibility. Yeah. Fast and pump your navel. Thirty seconds, just thirty seconds. Yeah. And stop in it very, very, very deep. Squeeze. All your muscles, squeeze, like the tea bags, like a cannon from the mouth. <sighs> Other two times, inhale deep, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all muscles. We have to hold more second now. To the mouth like a cannon. Another time, inhale. Squeeze, conquer your heaviness. Squeeze. Like a cannon from the mouth. Good. Other position for this meditation. This is the mudra. Okay. We have two positions. When I'm here, I already expire. So when I inhale, I open. I open here. Not too much. When I exhale, I go here. Very rhythmic. One, two, three, go. Inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. Very fast and very powerful. Yes, I repeat, we inhale when we open and we exhale when we come back in the position. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, okay? Close your eyes and move. Inhale when we open, exhale when we come back in the position. Strong your fix. Forearm parallel to the floor. Very good. Maintain open your rib cage, up the chest, straight and move fast.
don't lose the concentration, don't lose the movement. Relax the shoulder, don't put other movement on top, just do it very straightforward. Thirty seconds. We try to go faster, faster. The last seconds. Yeah. I know it's painful in the shoulder, but it's, this pain disappears when we finish. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relax your face. Nearly there. Stop the movement. Inhale deep. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stop the movement. And exhale by the mode. Don't move. Stay in the position. Inhale again. Squeeze all muscle. Like a cannon. Last time. Inhale. All the breath. Pull your elbows back. Pull, 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 pull. Squeeze. Like a cannon. Relax. Third part, the last part of this meditation. Uh, we have to straight up the arms and the hand, they will be at this distance, up here. And we move left and right. Don't touch, don't make the hand touch each other. Close your eyes and move left, right, left, right. Stretch your arm the maximum you can. The palm face each other, and when you have taken the movement, breath of fire. Very good. Move. Stretch your arm, palm face each other. And move. Red of fire, don't forget. And now we speed up a little bit with the bread of fire. Left and right, left and right, very good. Stretch your spine, relax the shoulder. Is the movement of the upper part of the body. Don't put nothing more. Maintain your palm closed together without touch. And bread of fire. I know the pain in the shoulder. I know, try to stay. Nearly there, just one minute, one minute more, and then it's done. Very good. Very, very good. Speed. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Yeah. Fast, fast, fast. 
smile. Don't lose the occasion to smile. <laughs> yeah, pump your navel. Strong breath of fire. Last seconds. Yeah. And we stop in the center, inhale deep. Old, 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 old. 20 seconds, we have to hold. Stay. Inhale a little bit more if you cannot stay, but don't exhale yet. Like a cannon from the mouth. <sighs> Two times more. Inhale deep. Learn right, left, right, left. Come in the center and like a cannon. <sighs> Last time. Inhale deep. Hold. Learn left. Learn right. Come back in the center and like a cannon. <sighs> and slowly relax your arms. Very, very good. Very good. Drink a glass of water. Move to the deep shoulder. I was. Any comment, something to share? Please, could you show us the meditation again, the name of it? Yeah, the title, you mean? Yes, please. Yes, of course. Here is the title. Oops. Yep. Something to share for this experience. <laughs> yeah, we move a little bit. <laughs> okay. Good. You look great. So I think everything's fine. I want to, in my illusion, think. Okay, good. So we go straight forward to the serotonin. Here we are. Serotonin. Every project Every goal we want to achieve needs a purpose, an intrinsic universal value that he wants to affirm. Serotonin, the hormone of happiness, is moved more for that underlying value than for everything else. It is a noble hormone. It doesn't have anything to do with being rich but people with noble intentions, which is the explanation why not all rich people are happy. So, to ensure our dose of happiness, find out what is the purpose of your work, your project. Define why doing it would make a difference in the world, even if only in your world. Pay attention to what you do and what it means. Count your blessing and not your misfortune. Thank you for the support you receive. Always express your gratitude in concrete words and gestures. Elevate you and elevate those who are with you. Purpose. What makes the difference? Why we do this? This is very, very, very important. Maybe we never think about uh, 
the underlying purpose of our action. But often there is what in English they say the second agenda in what we do. But you have to know that that second agenda has more importance to the result of our happiness than the real external purpose. So we have really to take care why we do what we do. What is the real motivation? What we want to bring to the world with what we do? We think that creativity and this kind of um, important project are only for the actor, the musicians, the artists. It's not for us. No, we are all artists of our life. We are not born with a manual, with instruction. We are creating our life day by day. So we have to take care how we can express our creativity and for what? What moves us? Creativity is not only for the artist. Creativity is for the person that do the breath every day. For the, the person that clean the house, the doctor that save people, for, all, for find the parking, not now that we are in lockdown, but for find the parking with a car in a city. I'm living and speaking to you from Rome, Italy. You need a certain doses of creativity because it's full of cars. So creativity is every day. And the purpose is every day. Why I want to find a parking close to my house? Because I want to arrive to my beloved ones before it's possible. What is? You know this. Most of the time, the people perceive your second agenda. And most of the time, we are not aware about what we are transmitting to the people. Just we recognize in the relationship that something's going wrong because the reptile brain of the other person is reacting to the reptile brain of us. Our strategy of survive, even if we don't know what is it, is reacting with the strategy of survive of the other one. So we have to become conscious and serotonin is asking for the subtle conscious about ourselves. So to be happy, not only we need a project, not only we need an uh, intention, we need also to know why we want to do what we do. Why you become a teacher of Kundalini Yoga? Why you are doing Kundalini Yoga? Why today you are here? It's a very, very specific, a very, very detailed, subtle work, but it's very, very important for being happy. So we go with, with the last meditation for today, connected with serotonin. If you, you are okay, or if you want to say something, this is also a moment. I really feel happy at the moment. Thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> you be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, too, for sharing the, your happiness. The make help also has. Uh, this was, the, this was the, the intent, no? Just my subtle, my inner second agenda is try to make you happy, to transmit a tool that we can use for make our own happiness. Uh, so... The meditation that we are going to do, ah, by the way, the meditation that we have done now was the real time, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Hmm? Now we do another meditation in a short time. Um, it's called Inner Assessment. I put the title so you can take a note. This is the meditation that we are going to do. And this is, it's a nice meditation. It really fits in what we are doing because it's divided in three parts. And the first part is to know your inner balance. The second is to know your inner projection. And the third part is to know your inner strength. 
we often, we don't know how much we are strong inside because, we, because no one told to us you are strong enough, you are intelligent enough, you are good enough, etc. So we don't know basically how much is the level of strength, the, the projection, the capacity to project that we have inside. So this meditation is like to make order inside of ourselves uh, in order to make us able to really realize what we want to do. And so in consequence of this, realize our inner peaceful happiness. Same, same position. Easy pose for who is sit on the floor. For us on the chair, we stretch the spine. Okay. First mudra. We go for the prayer mudra. And then what we have to do is lift the left hand up and create this, you see, this level. Hmm? Close your eyes. Maintain this mudra and breathe as long and slowly as you can. Very, very, very slowly. It's from the prayer mudra. I swift the left hand, I put up. Exactly. It's very, very close to the face without touch. Close your eyes and breathe as long and slowly you can. Don't think, just concentrate in your breath. Focusing on the third eyes by the closed eyes, I focus on the third eye. Letting go, whatever is not needed now, don't have nothing to do with what we are doing. Letting go, don't fix nothing that doesn't have to do with us in this moment with you. And breathe long and deep. Find your inner balance. Know it. Relax the face. Stay with the breath. Focus on the third eye. And inhale very, very, very deep. Exhale and put together the palms and go with the tip of the 
first finger here. Close your eyes and stay there. And breathe. Eyes closed, focusing again to the third eye point. Relax your arms and breathe as long and slowly as you can. Know your inner projection. Become familiar with your inner projection. Recognize, accept, agree. Breathe long, deep, relax all muscles, stay in your inner projection, focusing at the third eye point. And inhale very, very, very deep. And exhale and place your right hand on top of your left hand in the center of your chest. The center of your chest, you have to put the tip of the two finger here, touching the elbow, the uh, touching, sorry, the, the bones, and then you put on top. Close your eyes and breathe very long, very slowly. And press hard as you can, maintain the pressure through the time, through the breath, through the meditation. And the eyes close, they continue to focusing to the third eye. and become familiar with your inner strength. Letting go, don't think. Stay, relax the mask, relax your face.
see the grace inside of you, the strength inside of you. Accept what you have, what you are. Don't close the chest, open the chest. And press your hand, exactly, good. And press your hand. And inhale, very, very deep. Press your hand on your chest. Exhale by the nose, slowly, deep. Other two times. Inhale deep. Press your hand on your chest. Open your chest and press. Relax the shoulder, open. Exhale. And the last time, inhale deep. Press. And exhale and relax. Very good. How was? Now you look like him. Like this. <laughs> we pass all kind of face expression. Very good. Very good. If you want to share something, I really suggest to you to, to do it, to choose one of this meditation and really do it. Give to you this possibility to try a different way, another tool, another way. Uh, if you are here, if we are here, it's because our strategy was okay, but now doesn't work very well. So we want to, we want something else, want to change. Um, I have some tips more. Yes, Nicola, yes, please. Yes, I have a question that came up uh, while we're doing uh, the meditation. Yeah. I know that, of course, it's always recommended to choose one and do it for 40 days. But whilst those four uh, meditations are all working on the on the um, uh, the hormones, mm -hmm. is it an idea? Or what do you think about if you would do like a one, two, three, four, first one, first day, second, second day, third, four, and then cycle it, and maybe then even maybe prolong it to three times forty days or four times forty days, one hundred and sixty days, or do it for forty. Do you think that might work or? Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Nicola. This is a nice point. For the brain, the brain works with a certain regularity. We have to, to establish a rhythm. So if the rhythm is what you share, we do one day one, what the day two, the second, and then the three and the four, and then the cycle is repeating, repeating, repeating. The brain starts to understand this is the cycle. I work with this. So your 14 days, they become 14 days of this uh, cycle. In my understanding for the brain, speaking about the brain, it's fine because it's recognized, but we have to be very precise. And if you want to support you, not only you, Nicola, but all of us, we have to do what we do at the same time. More we are precise with the timing, more the brain can learn, more can serve us. This is the imp also an imp important uh, part. Now you, you know maybe about the metabolism, but it's difficult to know uh, about brain, but the brain really need rhythm and precise schedule, especially for the, for the hormones. Um, so thank you for this observation and this suggestion. Uh, I have uh, really in the, this five last minutes something to, to share. Uh, thank you for for your message. Uh, someone can open the microphone of um, 
uh, Nadja and Pamela, please, because they cannot, uh, they wrote, they've wrote in the chat that they cannot do. We are not allowed. Maybe I am allowed to open Pamela to open. Yeah, we will see if I can open your microphone. Could be, no. It worked. Uh, it worked? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Good. So now we open the microphone. What do you want to say? Saskia, you have the open microphone. Yes. No, I just want to thank you for a very informative workshop. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. And thank you. <laughs> thank you, Saskia. Yeah, thank I agree. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. So briefly, I want to share these uh, other tips. Well, that maybe you can use. And then also there is my email address, you can write to me. And if the COVID permit this, you are lucky because I am going, going to go to Netherlands in February. So maybe we can, we can meet in person. Well, we will see. So I, I, I just share something very quickly, something tips can be important. This is what, uh, what we can do also to adjust the level of oxytocin. Lifestyle, expose yourself to the sunlight, finding time for yourself, meditate, yoga, go to the sonar, having prolonged physical contact, hugs. <laughs> hugs. The, the suggestion is four, 12 hugs per day, at least for 90 seconds, four hugs to survive, or eight to keep, our, to keep us, uh, and 12 to, um, to grow. Food, food that developed uh, and support the production of oxytocin, figs, uh, truffle, leeks, uh, pine nuts, aubergine, pomegranate, uh, bananas, almonds, strawberry, vanilla, and you be dark chocolate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to adjust the level of endorphin in the lifestyle, physical training, constant, Pratics uh, like sadhana, but have to be constant for the same reason I already share. Dance, so moving with uh, music, cultivate the sense of humor, hug, uh, care as an animal, smell. Vanilla and lavender are the essential oil that they, they support the endorphin. Food, dark chocolate, you be chili pepper, <laughs> spices, ginger, and ginseng. Dopamine, lifestyle, sleep at least six, eight hours. Exercise regularly and more often if dopamine is low, if you feel all characteristics connected with the dopamine that you don't have, this is the, the case to improve uh, how many times you do physical activity. Uh, listen to music, meditate, laugh. Expose yourself to the sunlight. I know from the north for having vitamin D, it's difficult because not all the time there is sun, but it, as you can stay outside and not only with the face, with the arms also uh, to take a more sun as possible. Um, do the business planning of everything. Food, increase the amount of protein. Sometimes there is this mistake when, when we are a vegetarian that we start to eat a lot of carbs and the less proteins. No, in, in, in effect, we have to eat proteins more than carbs and possible during the day and not in the night, the carbs, the, in the night, the protein. Eat less saturated fat and food contain iron, spinach, dark chocolate, lentil, soy, chipkis, dry almonds, etc. Eat food contain vitamin B, the group of vitamin B, soy, rice, cereals, spiruline, almond, uh, walnuts and peanuts, cabbage, broccoli and spinach, leg, uh, legumes, especially green peas that contain folic acid. Um, and for serotonin, oops, sorry. And for serotonin lifestyle, receive a massage, sing, dance, expose yourself again to the sunlight, regular physical activity, long walk, food, tryptophan. Tryptophan is the secrets of um, the serotonin because it's uh, in, is inside of many food and can be transformed uh, 
uh, in order to have more serotonin. Legumes such as lentils and peach, potatoes and tomatoes, bananas, cherry, plums, pineapple, kiwis, walnuts and almonds, dark chocolate. Um, the caffeine block the receptor of serotonin. So if you want to work on serotonin and you drink coffee, maybe you have to start to sacrifice something or the serotonin so the happiness of the coffee because really the coffee, it's not good. Increase the uh, intake of, of B vitamins with the soya beans, sesame, and some flower seeds, spirulina, and increase the number of proteins and reduce the carbs. This is a very quick uh, overview about what we can do with our lifestyle and our food. And this is, yeah. yep, and this is my email. You can write me, and when you write, remember me that you were in this uh, workshop, so I know uh, where, where you come from. And this is the date where I will be in uh, Netherlands, in Volendam, February, if the COVID permit, 13, 14, next year. Thank you very much. Could you please um, give uh, your opinion about supplements, taking supplements like tryptophan and yeah turmeric etc yeah um uh, it's my opinion and come from my personal also experience because i start to to work with the hormones because i have had a problem so uh, for this i became fan of the hormones um and i'm working with the, not only with myself but from the ten, last 10 years also with uh, students and uh, participants like you in the workshop and in my understanding what do we Put what we take from outside and we put inside create the opposite effect for this glandular system because the brain is very intelligent. I want to do uh, what it, it does with a certain number of energy, quantity of energy. If we discover that, for example, pretofan, it's already in the body, we stop to produce the enzyme that are needed to absorb the pretofan because say, oh, it's already there. I want to earn my energy and put the energy in something else. So when we take supplement in the reality, we are make more, um, more, uh, we, we really, we, can, we are reaching the opposite effect. Instead to stimulate the production or, or the activity is we, we are creating the opposite effect. The, some glandular, they can arrive to atrophy themselves because we are taking from outside the hormones or whatever. So my personal suggestion, that is a not doctor suggestion, it's the, uh, from me as a worker with the energy, it's not a good idea. It's better to develop them, whatever is what we need, for ourselves, by ourselves, by exercise, by food, by style of life, and not supplementary. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Okay, dear. Uh, thank you very, very much for being here, for being part of the this workshop that have a sense because you are there. <laughs> Otherwise, don't have any sense. So. And uh, again, thank you very much for the organization, for the people is behind of this organization for invited me already two years ago. So uh, really I trust to see you again, if it's possible physically. So we can hug, we can have a serotonin oxytocin <laughs> by our hugs, okay? So we can close this uh, appointment and be happy, please. <laughs> Inhale very, very deep. And exhale. Inhale deep. May the long time sunshine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sunshine upon you, 
Oh, love surround you and the pure light within you. Guide your way on, guide your way on. Sad. Nam. Sad Nam Sad Nam Hai Vruchika Kalsa, hai Vruchiki Kote. Thank you so much. Be happy, and uh, I will be also in the festival again, I think in three days, uh, guiding in the morning uh, for all festival, um, a Kriya. I will do a Kriya for happiness. So if you want to join, uh, we, we can see again. I think it's uh, just say uh, 2 and 30, something like that. Check in the program. Okay, Viar. Have a good Thank time. You. Thank you. So bye. Bye. Bye, Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Satnam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you.